Hi everyone and I'm going to start a video series about uh, launch excel that you see on the screen this is basically a, an evaluation board from Texas Instruments and you can program this Texas Instruments in the TIE Code Composer Studio but I will be I will not take that approach and I will instead I will be using the Simulink and MATLAB MATLAB and Simulink provide the support package for C2000 microcontrollers and they provide libraries for almost every functionality of this board so in this video series we'll be using simulink and matlab to program this microcontroller and how you can con configure this microcontroller in matlab is very simple you what you need to do is you need to go to the matlab add-on package uh, add-on uh, explorer and type the embedded code support package for tic 2000 processor and this will pop up here and then uh, you will install it and after installation I think you have to set up the uh, the package in your computer as well and before installing this package you need to install the code composer studio the control source and c2000 where so that you have to keep in mind and you can find the documentation more about this launch excel in the data sheet that is available uh, on TI website so this I had downloaded it from TI website and I think you need you really, really need to go through this documentation and you will find out how you can power it up and uh, from USB and from external power supply like it is defined here you can you must uh, provide a 3.3 volt uh, if you want to uh, power it externally and similarly there is a 5 volt power uh, option is also available and the other important thing in the documentation is the GPIO pinout uh, table and similarly we'll be using the in this video we'll be using the simple digital output block and uh, some serial communication uh, block which they call it SCI and we'll be also operating the LEDs the user LED in this micro in this uh, video so the GPIO to which the LEDs are connected is given in this data sheet and you can find it here so the red LED is connected to GPIO 34 and the blue LED is connected to GPIO 31 now let's go back to the Simulink and Simulink and then we will uh, Simulink and then we will go to the C2000 support package these are all the microcontroller that is uh, they provide support for the Simulink and we are using basically the not F2807X but F2837XT so it's our in our case it's 90 so it comes in this category so these are all the blocks that are available to be used and the the first the, we will start with the very simple example of GPIO um, output so we'll add this digital output and this digital output basically like I, uh, I told you will be operating the user LED so the first user LED is connected to GPIO 31 and then we will head the toggle mode so toggle mode is basically it will uh, operate with a certain uh, time time step and it will continue it will, it will like uh, blink for some time and then stop and then blink again and the input to this block will be simple a constant block and let's say I keep the sample time 0 0.5 what this mean is uh, it will blink with the sample rate of 0 0.5 second so every 0 0.5 second it should uh, blink and the LED is uh, the GPIO is GPIO 31 and the e corresponding LED is GPIO 31 is connected to blue so your blue LED uh, should blink with the sample rate of 0 0.5 second if I add another digital output block and another input let's say I keep the sample rate at 1 second so you are and I change the GPIO from 31 to uh, 34 34 is basically the GPIO 34 is connected to uh, red LED and the sample time is 1 second so once I upload this program your blue LED should blink with the sample 
time of 0.5 second and the red LED should blink with a sample time of one second so every one second your red LED will blink and you can uh, run your microcontroller in external mode and for that you have to make sure you have selected a right COM port so you go back to the hardware package uh, hardware page and here is target hardware resources and you go back to the external mode and external mode uh, the COM port is 6 so you have to put a right COM port here and then you simply hit the external mode button or the deploy button here you can see the code is successfully deployed to the microcontroller and now you should be able to see your microcontroller LED uh, blink one with the uh, one second time step and the other one with the uh, 0.5 second time step and this is basically uh, the color also show you like the different sample time and now the next uh, next what we are going to do is we are going to use the SCI serial communication functionality of this block uh, this uh, controller and here if we come here uh, these two blocks the SCI transmit block and the SCI receive block so I'll add these two blocks and then we will set up the serial communication uh, in this launch excel and before that you need to go to the hardware setup again and in the target hardware resources you you come here and uh, the SCIEA there you have in this mo in this launch excel basically we have four uh, serial communication interface modules one is A, B, C and D and you can op operate all these SCI modules and by default the SCIEA is connected to the USB so for that you don't need to use any extra FTDI chip or other serial communication interface chip uh, so we'll be using the same USB cable from which we are powering up the board from PC and in the desired baud rate the this value is very high so I'll uh, bring it down to 11 and then 50 uh, 200 so you can you can basically bring it down to 9600 as well that you, you uh, most of the time using your uh, Arduino and that's it uh, they here they also provide you the pin like to which pin the GPI the SCIA is connected and I you can change the pin assignment as well but we are not going to change that so the scheme is we'll be sending some data to uh, through this uh, UART port and that data will be in my case it's a let's say I'll I send a data which will start from 0 and add up to the final value of 255 let's say and the sample time I'll keep the sample time as 0 0.02 and the data type the basically the data type of this block depends on the maximum value that you select and in this case it says 255 so it should be unsigned at and I'll convert that data into unsigned 16 and if you come to this block the by default the SCI module A is selected but you can change it to B, C or D and you can find the respective mm, pins in the data sheet of this launch excel and then we are adding some starting byte which will represent the start of the new data and similarly the ending byte which will represent the ending of the new data and as far as the receive block so we'll for receive blocks we don't have anything to show the data so what we are going to do is we'll remove this constant and instead of that constant we'll be taking data from the remote pc and that will be unsigned at and the length of the data will be one and the sample time is 0 0.02 or whatever sample time that uh, uh, you can select here and uh, yeah so that's it and then uh, we are receiving the unsigned add data so I need to convert it into 
boolean yeah so and i also change the setting from the gpio pin so instead of toggle mode now we are uh, operating it in uh, in this in this regular mode and in this regular mode if the value is true the led should and the, the gpio pin should uh, will be high and if the value is false so the gpio pin will be grounded and that's it uh, we will upload this program to the launch excel and then we will set another program on the host pc uh, again in simulink and we will receive data and transmit data to the microcontroller once the code is successfully uploaded to the uh, microcontroller here you can see your blue led is still blinking with the sample rate of 0.5 and your red led will start uh, will power up after you provide a input of 1 to the led and i'll set up another program in simulink here uh, which is the uh, the host serial receive so this program does not run on the microcontroller instead it's running on your pc and i'll set up the serial communication here in this simulink program which is the serial configuration and in serial config configuration we will be we will select the com port 6 and the, the, the desired baud rate is 9600 that we selected in the microcontroller setting and the rest of the setting is set by default and then another block i'll add serial receive block and this serial receive block is basically receiving data from the microcontroller and just like we provided uh, there in the microcontroller program the start of the new data is defined by the s letter and the end is defined by e and the size of the data is one and the type of the data is unsigned 16 and we will keep the sample time to this the, the same sample time that we have set in our microcontroller similarly i will add another block which is serial send again from instrumentation toolbox and here i will uh, send only one or zero and that will be in the form of unsigned add and the com and the com port is again six and the start of the new data is s and the end of the uh, data is e basically we are we are we are telling it to send one data but we are also sending s and e by default as an initializer and the ending character and the sample time uh, here should be 0 0.02 as well and i'll add a display to display the incoming data and scope as well to have a better viewing understanding of the com incoming data so let's uh, hit the play button and our code should execute yeah right away here you can see the counter data is coming from the microcontroller and your led and the red led in your microcontroller should now turn on and if we see the data in the scope here you will find it in a much better way if i set the change the setting a little bit and here you can see the data so the data is increasing from zero all the way up to 255 and then it uh, comes down again to zero just like we have defined this setting in the uh, counter block and that is uploaded to the microcontroller similarly if i change the value from one to zero your led should uh, turn off and if i hit one again it should turn on again this is a very simple uh, serial communication and in the next in the coming videos i'll be talking about the uh, i square c the i square c blocks the spi block and adc pwm and some uh, scheduling blocks as well just like the hardware interrupt block so that's it for now. Uh, bye.